Hello guys and welcome to another Premiere Pro tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to create a kaleidoscope video effect in Adobe Premiere Pro. Now this tutorial is mainly for music video content creators so I hope you guys enjoy it. If you do kindly give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. So the first thing you need to do is to create a new adjustment layer. So you can see over here on my timeline that I've imported a video into my timeline. So I'm going to come over to this item here, select new item, adjustment layer and hit OK. I'm going to drag this above my video clip over here and stretch it to the duration of my clip. Now the first thing I'm going to do next is to go over to my effects tab and search for the replicate effect. Now I'm going to double tap this and it will automatically apply to my adjustment layer and you can see here that it has perfectly created four replicates of that video clip. Now what I want to do next is to allow this video clip beneath to show at the center. So what I'm going to do is to move over to my effects control tab over here. And under my replicate, I'm going to select create ellipse mask, scroll down and hit invert and increase the max expansion. The next thing I'm going to do is to increase the max feather also. And with that, we have successfully made our video beneath to appear on the monitor. The next thing I want to do is to remove these edges around this video over here. So to do this, I'm going to select my adjustment layer over here and move down to opacity. Under opacity, I'm going to select my free draw bezier over here. And what I will do is I'm going to create a diamond look alike kind of shape. And also I'm going to invert this. I'm going to increase the expansion and increase the feather. All right, guys. So if I hit play now, you can see what we have created over here. Another thing you can decide to do is to add a Gaussian blur to make the video at the center more visible. So I'm going to come over to my effects library over here and search for the Gaussian blur effect on that blur and sharpen and double click it. And it's going to automatically be added to my adjustment layer. So I'll move over to effects control over here and I'll increase the blurriness to somewhere around 5. So just in case if you want to change the scale or the position of these four clips overlays, what you can do is to move over to the effects once more and search for the transform effect and double click on this. Now when you import the transform effect, you can now scroll down and change the scale or the position value of your clip over here. Now if I hit play now, you can see what we have created. Another thing you can do again is to add a flip to it. You can add a vertical or a horizontal flip to it. So move over to your effects control once more and search for the flip effect. If I double click the vertical flip and hit play now, you can see what we have created. And you can also apply the horizontal flip to it. All right, guys, that's it for this tutorial. I hope you found this tutorial very useful. If you did, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you and see you guys in my next video tomorrow.